Hey people, it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. I am here live from my kitchen. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy, happy Easter. Did you guys see the Easter bunny? I don't know. Um, I have my little Easter bunny friend here. It's a sitting Easter bear that is dressed like a bunny. Cute, right? <laughs> uh, what's going on over there? I am here tonight. Hopefully you guys are interested in another quick and easy dessert because I am here for you. I've got a crying puppy who is so excited about the dessert. I also have Gertie. This is Gertie the gorilla. Gertie the gorilla. My sister keeps texting me during my lives, so if you see me go like this, it's because I'm getting rid of the texts. Anyway, Gertie the gorilla is right here. She's very cute. I'm giving her away today. Today, I made this Gertie Gorilla sticker from my fantastic sticker book. Sometimes I give away the sticker book. Today, I am giving away Gertie the Gorilla. She's Gorge. That's what it says there. It's backwards. I signed it. You can win it. If you want to win Gertie, all you have to do is keep saying, hey, I love Gertie, or send hearts or send likes. Just interact in some way, and you have the chance to win Gertie. But more importantly, it's not all about Gertie tonight. It is about a recipe that's really fun. You guys like quick, easy, desserty recipes. So tonight there is a three ingredient cake that I am gonna make for you using, guess what? Three ingredients, not four, not two, not five, three ingredients. The first ingredient is a yellow cake mix. This is the Betty Crocker Super Moist. I will tell you a little about that in a few minutes. Next ingredient is gonna be crushed pineapple in its own juice. And the final ingredient is a little tiny bit of egg substitute. So it's like a fat-free egg white situation. So we've got Jamie from Hungry Girl in the audience watching. We've got Lauren, my niece, on the other side of my kitchen. And my sister is still texting me during the live. Someone should tell her to stop texting me. Anyway, so this is what I'm gonna make. It's a cake in a mug or a cake, however you wanna make it. It is too easy to do, and I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. And by the way, if you don't get the Hungry Girl daily emails, you should sign up. Go to hungry-girl.com. And like these recipes and other recipes are gonna show up in the emails during this crazy time because I'm just like in my kitchen doing cookie things. So this is cake in a mug, but I'm gonna do it a little differently tonight um, so you could see it better. But let's say you're at home and you have a Hungry Girl mug or another mug. You just spray it with a little nonstick spray. I'm gonna spray my cute ramekin. If you have a cute ramekin, use that. If you don't, you can use a mug because everything is fun and easy in a mug. Okay, this cake mix, my activity last night, I don't know what you did on your Saturday night, I took a box of cake mix and I measured out exactly how many tablespoons of cake mix were in the box. And if anyone can guess that, <laughs> you win a prize, but you don't have to. Um, but for this recipe, you're gonna use three tablespoons of cake mix. I did that because I wanted to know exactly how many calories were gonna be in this cake. And the cake is gonna have less than 150 calories. It's gonna be about, you know, if you add a little bit of whip topping, it might be around 150. But we're gonna use three tablespoons of this super moist yellow cake mix. Yes, you do spray it. All right, I'm reading. <laughs> Thank you, Denise, for telling my sister to stop texting me while I'm doing this. Okay, so. We got that out of the way. We've got the cake mix in the mug. And next up, we have got crushed pineapple in its own juice. You need a tablespoon and a half of this stuff. A tablespoon and a half, and you wanna keep the juice. You don't wanna drain it. It's important, because the juice is important here. So I'm doing a tablespoon into the mug. And then we have... Can you use sugar-free cake mix? You can use sugar-free cake mix. You know, with me, like some of the sugar-free cake mixes are made with maltitol, and I avoid that, but you can. If you like the sugar-free cake mix, go for it. So that was a tablespoon and a half of crushed pineapple in its own juice. By the way, that's what it looks like. In case you have never seen a can of crushed pineapple, this is it, baby. And we have a tablespoon of the egg that goes in here as well. Da, da, da. By the way, you guys loved that I matched the recipe the other day, so I decided to match the recipe again today. That's why I'm wearing yellow. <laughs> I can't promise I'm gonna do that every night, but I'm doing it tonight, and I hope you appreciate it. Okay, so now we have all of our ingredients. 
We got the egg, we got the pineapple, we got the cake mix. And while I'm mixing, I'm reading comments. Thank you, Amy, for complimenting my hair. That's very sweet of you. All right, you wanna mix this really well. Anything else going on out there? Lauren, any comments from the, from the audience? A triple chocolate cake with Diet Dr. Pepper. That's good. Gertie is watching. By the way, Gertie the gorilla. If you want to win Gertie, I have not embellished her yet, but I'm going to. She's going to get some like puffy glittery stickers and then I'll send her out to you. All right. This smells great, by the way. And if you want to know, I think you can get how many servings? 42, 14 servings of mini cake based on the three tablespoons of cake mix in the box. So you don't have to transfer it, but I'm transferring this into a, a cute little ramekin and I'll show you why because you can make it a, a fun shape if you do that. And I think it's kind of cool. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, you wanna get every drop. If you use the same mug and you just make it in the mug, you don't have to worry about these shenanigans, honestly. Yeah, egg whites or egg beaters, perfect. And if you came late, I am making a three ingredient little uh, cake mug made of pineapple. Now, you know, if you're a Hungry Girl fan, you know that we have a recipe similar to this. It's a two ingredient pineapple cake that only uses the pineapple and the cake mix. But for whatever reason, when I, was, when I was experimenting with this, it worked so much better if you add a little egg. It made it nice and fluffy. It was a little bit less dense, so it's good. Are you ready? Now you put this in the microwave. I promise you, I have a Hello Kitty microwave that I got at the mall in 1999, and it is here. My other microwave is far away, and it's high up, so I use this one. Um, put it in the microwave for a minute. So this microwave doesn't have an exact timer. It just has like a little thing that you twist that says one minute, two minutes, three minutes. So Lauren's gonna help me just in case. By the way, yes, you can use any fruit, like other fruit works, but I'm gonna tell you something else. If you wanna have fun, you can add a tiny bit of these like drink mix packets to the cake and you could flavor them up. You would not use a whole drink mix packet. You would use like a third of it or something, a tiny little sprinkle just to give flavors. There's cherry, there's apple, I even have zero sugar tang so you could make it orange. It's kind of fun actually, gotta be honest. You can just like play around or use extract. Like sometimes I use coconut extract or vanilla or, an, or maple, another flavor just to give a little bit of zazzle as I like to call it to the cake. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the Hello Kitty microwave. Uh, Barbara, to answer your question, it's a tablespoon and a half of the pineapple. Yep. There's 42 tablespoons in the box of cake mix. Luckily, you don't need all 42. Okay, that's a minute. Okay, it's a minute. Let's see if it looks like it's ready. It does look pretty good. I have to say. It's pretty cute. This cake. <laughs> You know, I kind of feel like in this microwave, I'm gonna put it in for another 20 seconds. And you see, this microwave is not quite as high as your microwave. It doesn't work as well as a normal microwave that you didn't get in the mall in 1999. But you can, oh yes, if you wanna add chocolate chips, you can. How do you walk so much? How do, who says I walk so much? <laughs> who knows I walk that much? I don't know. I do, I walk a lot. I walk 30,000 steps a day. It's probably out of anxiety. Okay, now, come on out, cake. So you get a little cake. It's here. Hold on. It's a cute little cake puck. Do you see it? It's adorable. And what I like to do to it I add a little coconut whipped cream. Now this, guys, if you don't know this coconut topping, it is from Trader Joe's. It's the greatest. It has 10 calories a serving. So basically if you use a little bit of this on top of the cake, your cake is only gonna have, I don't know, 150 or so calories and it's yummy. And I know it's slightly after 5.30, but I'm taking a bite of it because I can't help it because it's too good. Look, and it really does match my shirt, so there. Mmm. 
It's light, it's fluffy, and this actually tastes like, it tastes like pina colada, because it's coconut with pineapple, and I love it. So yes, three tablespoons yellow cake mix, one and a half tablespoons crushed pineapple juice, one tablespoon of egg. It is good. Someone said, Lauren is so lucky to be in quarantine with you. She just did a spit take over there. You are, I know. Oh, it's good. It's fun. Okay, how do I walk all that in my home? Yes, so by the way, so I do. I walk, these days I'm walking like 13 miles a day because it's crazy how much like I'm feeling anxious and I need to move around. But I go outside and I walk a lot. So if you're in a place where you can get outside, be alone, not be too close to others, and have a nice environment to walk around, I think you should do it, right? Don't we go walking all the time? If you have dogs, it's really fun. You can hang with your dogs. It's good bonding time. And anyway, there you go. So, Jamie to... Posted the recipe in the comments, so you know. Jamie, you're the best for posting the recipe. Just to recap, we have got the ingredients, egg whites or egg substitute. We've got cake mix, and we have crushed pineapple, and that is all you need. You could serve it with berries. You could serve it without berries. I have to tell you, I now have, I don't know, like another 35 tablespoons of cake mix left in my cake mix box, in my container. So I'm going to play around. I'm going to make different recipes. I have a few ideas. If there's anything you want to see, definitely let me know. Um, wait, somebody wants the Weight Watchers points. Jamie's going to get those to you. So I'll be experimenting more. I'm gonna make some chocolate stuff. I know you guys really want chocolate, so I'll be back with chocolate recipes. I have some pancake in a mug recipes. I have a lot of fun things coming up. So, well, that's a good question. I, you know, I don't know how long the open box of cake will last. We will look into that, but I do, I keep it in it like an airtight container as much as possible right now. I'm gonna transfer that into something a little bit more secure. And it should last a little while. I mean, I don't, I'm not gonna tell you exactly how long, cause I don't know. All right, well, I guess that's it. Remember, if you want Gertie the gorilla, by the way, I originally thought she was a baboon. That is because I don't know my primates, but this is Gertie the gorilla. What time do you normally go live? Usually around some point between 5 and 6 p.m. Um, uh, West Coast time. Something, I'm reading your things. All right, if you want Gertie, make sure you say, hey, I love Gertie, I want Gertie. I think I'm gonna go now though, because it's Sunday night, I'm getting ready to watch American Idol. I'm very excited. I know that we're not gonna get to the live shows. I don't know what's gonna happen with the season, but I still love the show and I'm excited. And you should tune in if you haven't seen it. Okay, Gertie and I are gonna go now. I'm Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time, chew the right thing.